Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hop Your Days. This is a very special episode. Much like all of my episodes, every single one I've made is a very special episode. This one's even more special. This is my 50th episode of Hop Your Days. What does that mean? That means I've wasted over 50 craft beers. That means it's just another episode. There's no special meaning to 50. I guess it's like halfway to 100 triple digits. But you know what? I was already in triple digits if you counted after the decimal point. I want to remind you guys, I still do have Hoppier Day stickers if you want them. I'll give them to you for free. It's no big deal. You guys can have them. You don't owe me anything. Just uh, message me on Instagram and uh, say, hey, Sam, I want one of them sticks. So today, for the 50th uh, episode, I just have another craft beer that I have. This one was given to me from my friend's Paul and Carly. They went on a lovely honeymoon and they happened to be in Vermont and they picked me up this beer. This beer is from Burlington Beer Company that's located in Vermont. I'm not sure what city. It's very hip, trendy. I'm sure a lot of great music has come out of there. At least probably one of the greatest rock and roll bands of all time has probably come out of there. I've had a couple Burlington Beer Company beers and I've loved them all. This one though, this one sounds like a special little honey. This one is Dazzling Gleam Maple and Black Raspberry Milkshake IPA with vanilla and milk sugar holy cow what the label's really cool it's like this milkshakey looking thing but you guys probably can't see it because of the lights it's blowing out the white label but you know what look it up on untapped or deviantart i'm sure you'll find it on there one serious thing i want to talk to you guys about before we crack into this beer is earlier this week me and allison loaded up all the bottles and cans that we drank in the past like year they're in our basement including probably every single beer i've reviewed on this channel and we donated them to a can drive for cancer research. That was a shit ton of cans. So anyone who says drinking isn't good for your health, uh, I beg to differ. We're advancing cancer research with this drinking. Every can went to benefit those cancer kids and I'm proud to say I participated. All right, let's break into this. Ooh. Whoa. Look at the color on this punk. Ooh, it's still got like an IPA smell to it. Whoa. Weird, strange, bizarre, a little bit spooky, I'd say. It almost tastes like 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 bubble gum or something, like raspberry gum or something. Weird. It's really fruity, could, could almost be like a candy-like taste to it. It's definitely not for everyone, but I think I could definitely drink a whole pint of it. I don't know if I would want to necessarily drink more than that. Uh, it's, <clears throat> look at that. Can't see through it. Uh, I would give this um zero opacity. Uh, or 100% opacity. Wait, which is it? If it's 100% opacity, you, it's opaque. You can't see through it, right? Whatever. All right. Oh, there's like particles in it. Or that might have just, maybe I didn't clean the dish very well. It's, it's very bizarre. There's like one sort of flavor in there that I, it must be the lactose or the, oh, it's the maple. It's the fucking maple. That's what I'm tasting. I forgot there was maple in it. I'm glad I'm enjoying it. I mean, I'm glad they gave it to me. It's a great little delight. It's kind of medicinal. It's kind of like candy-like. It's... It's very spooky. There's a lot in that can. I felt like I drank a lot. And there's still more in it. Imagine if I poured more. Somehow I need to do one of my episodes where I rig up like that magician trick where they keep pouring water out of the same thing. Being a magician is pretty sad, isn't it? I mean, probably being a mime or a ventriloquist is worse, but... Is there any parent who's proud of their son being a magician? Or daughter. Or daughter. I doubt it. Wow, quality content for my 50th episode. I didn't even... 50th episode, I didn't even get out of my sweatpants for this. I haven't left the house today. I would give this 893,000 out of 9,042,000 fall foliage leaves. It's pretty good. That's it for this episode. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for whenever you jumped on board. Hey, let me know in the comments when the first time you guys ever watched one of my videos. I'd be really curious to know. Um, like, subscribe. Uh, I put my P.O. box in the uh, description. So send me a picture of yourself. That's all. Just a picture of yourself and um, I can hang it on my wall. <laughs> 
Send me your deviant art. Have a great day, guys. I'll be back in like a week, I think. I think I'm gonna find out what Ale thinks of this beer. I'll throw her in the 50th episode. She'll probably like that. We should probably check on her. I've been in here for a while. I don't know what she's up to. And uh, then we'll cut to the critter cam and we'll be done. We'll call it today, guys. The hell is going on up here? Making some trophies. Do you like them? Give that a try. Look at this color. <clears throat> is this pump? I'm sorry, I'm, I've been sick. It tastes like some kind of candy. <laughs> Said the same thing. Said? I said bubblegum. Wait, no. Smarties. It tastes like Smarties. 